What's up, guys? So I want to tell you about two things that I do every single year. And the first thing is I always make Christmas ornaments with the family. OK, we kind of get together with the kids and every year we'll do something different. Last year, I think, was Christmas balls, like glass balls that we would draw on. Um, year before that, we'd make like paper ornaments. I would just want to make cool stuff to hang on the tree for Christmas and, and whatnot. This year we made uh, or wanted to make some some sculpty clay uh, ornaments that so you can it's clay that you can kind of sculpt uh, and then you can bake the clay to kind of cure it after the fact uh, and then it, it hardens it up and you can keep it forever. Well, true to 2020, OK, our ornaments while in the oven baking, OK, caught fire. All right. So we have these awesome Christmas ornaments that are all blackened and charred. But you know what? Hey, I'm going to hang them up anyway, okay? It, it's going to be a nice remembrance of this bastardized 2020 of a year. And yeah, I think we'll just we'll move forward to that. So, so that's the first thing. But the second thing is I always go through, and every year, I'll kind of review the past 12 months, uh, all my, my art, uh, my photos, stuff that I've created. I do like a year in review. Basically, I go through and do just like a big, I don't know, organization of, uh, you know, everything that, that's outstanding. I'll take, you know, any unsleeved negatives or loose negatives. I'll get those kind of archived. Any prints I've made, I'll put those in albums. Uh, I'll go through anything I've scanned, uh, you know, on the computer, on the PC. I go through and I just kind of review all those. But with those, I'll call them. Like, I'll literally go through and just start chopping. I've got to say, you know, probably like two thirds or more of things that I've shot that I've scanned in, I delete, like they get the ax, gone. And now before, I, you know, I can hear you guys now, you know. Chris, all of my images are, are like a special snowflake and they deserve to be preserved. Uh, you know, hey, if that's how you feel, dude, power to you. Me personally, I like to take a, a different approach. I like to, to give the images that I shoot a little bit of a time before I kind of really make that final judgment. Now, you know, obviously, if I'm shooting something and it's complete dookie right off the get go, like it's a missed shot or it's not what I was trying to hit, it's deleted right then when it's uploaded or scanned in. But, you know, for the rest of the stuff, I like to give it a good while because I want to come back to it and, and give it like a second thought. And the reason I do this is I want to keep images that not only excite me when I, I shoot them and, and first create them. But that, you know, the images that excite me when I return to them again and I look at them and view them again later down the road, uh, you know, those are the ones that I really want to keep. You know, that's how it kind of helps me, at least, judge the good work from the not so good work. If an image I shoot has like lasting, uh, I don't know, lasting power or like, I don't know, it has a lasting interest, then that's an image I want to keep. And people definitely might think differently on this. Uh, this is just how I do it. But I'll even go back every year and I'll go back a couple years. So I'll not only cull the current year, I'll actually go back to previous years and recall those. Because I've grown as a photographer, I kind of know more of what I like. I can kind of spot more of what I've shot that's garbage and I can get rid of those. So, you know, I really believe that if it's a good image, it can stand up against years and years of me culling these images. So um, on another note, this video is coming out probably on Christmas Day. So it's the end of the year. I don't know if you guys, you know, celebrate Christmas or, or whatever, but whatever you do, celebrate whatever your holiday of choice is. I hope you guys have a great one. And here's looking forward to 2021. I think we're on the we're on the upward curve here. So. So we'll see where that takes us, but uh, hope everybody's well, and until the next video, we'll see you.